Hey YouTube, it's Purse Diva. I'm coming at you with the belated September and October Bag of the Month Club tag. And many of you saw that I went to Europe for my 40th birthday last month, um, which was September 28th, and I purchased my very first Chanel handbag from a store. And um, I, of course, have used this bag ever since I did that unboxing video and so basically all of the rest of September from the time I got back which was around the 9th until just basically a couple of days ago I have been using this bag so I did not do a bag of the month club tag video for September and October um, but before the end of October, I did want to get this video in to update you and let you know that I am going to officially switch out of this bag and into my new Gucci Soho Disco bag that I just received and did an unboxing on. So make sure you check that video out if you missed it. Um, so this has been a fantastic bag. I'm absolutely still smitten and in love with this bag. And like I said, I had used it pretty much every single day since I had gotten back and did the unboxing. Um, there was a request by my beautiful friend Christy J to do a What Fits in My Bag video, so I will be doing that as well um, and incorporating that into this video. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll get started with that first. So um, as you can see, I have pretty much cleaned it out. I had <laughs> a little wet nap and some lipstick in here and uh, a sucker. And um, inside the pocket in here, I had been keeping the authenticity card and nothing really else inside of there. Um, I did use this back flap primarily because um, uh, it did fit my phone, so I did use that. And here is my phone, and I can show you just for the quick ease of getting in and out of my bag, I would sit it up in my bag like that. So it did work for that. Um, but for the most part, you can put um, cards back here. I did tend to keep several business cards back here also for the ease of uh, just getting them in and out. So as far as what will fit in this bag, this little baby holds quite a lot. It's, it definitely holds the essentials that you need. So um, I was using, <laughs> I'm always using multiple items at one time because I'm constantly switching just depending on um, you know where I'm going or what activity I'm doing. And so for the majority of the time I was using this, which is my Chanel card case and the red caviar leather with silver hardware. And I was using this primarily as my wallet. It has my, um, I'll just show you, it has my authenticity card in the front. I just leave it in there. It has my driver's license here and then uh, a couple of credit cards here. And then inside has like my health insurance and um, uh, stuff like my benefit cards and stuff like that. Uh, for health and dental insurance. So I was using that and then just throwing in like one major card that I constantly used. So this was kind of my wallet. So that fits perfect inside of here. And honestly, I didn't have any structure as to how I was setting it up. I was just fitting it in there. And the other necessity, of course, is my cell phone. And that fits perfectly. This is the iPhone 6, not the 6 Plus and that fits perfectly down in there. And then of course I'd always have a lipstick with me, and that fits perfect. And I usually have to have a little something sweet, so that fits perfectly in there like that. And then inside the card slot here, um, because I'm a shopaholic, as many of you know, I tended to use that for receipts. So just to show you, it was kind of easy just to shove my receipts inside of there. But you could also, in this little flap in front of the zipper pouch, sorry about the lighting, there is also space for them there. So no rhyme or reason, just kind of shove them in there. And then of course, super easy to close.
And then on top, okay, you can see we still have plenty of space here to fit a whole nother SLG in there. But that's primarily where my keys would go. And I don't have my keys here with me, but as many of you know, it it's my um, Chanel key holder that they are attached to. And so we'll just use the Gucci one for reference. And as you can see, that fits nicely. I do have a big fat key fob that hangs off, but you can see the space right here is nice for the key fob to just fall down in. And that's basically how it was. And then right on top, I would have my sunglasses and they fit just nicely in there to where they can sit flat and this baby will still close. And you do have to kind of push it in a little bit so this folds up a little bit or you have to push this down to where um, they meet and lock it but it's still nicely situated in there and it's not bulking out or anything as you can see so that is what fits in my Chanel bag in my mini um, if I wasn't using this and my key holder I could easily fit my um, Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet inside of here and just to show you I've got the phone with the case on it and I've got lipstick and a little sucker which those will just lay flat down at the bottom like that and the Victorine wallet will fit nicely inside of there now that does limit the space of course because it's a lot thicker than the two of these but I can still put my sunglasses in there believe it or not like that it's not gonna close um, and I guess it just depends on what size sunglasses you have but these are not even a very bulky sunglasses and yeah that will not close so that's not really a good option so I wouldn't suggest this but you could even use a clay which is primarily about the same size as this as your wallet if you needed a little bit more oops, a little bit more um, width you know you could fit your clay and then I could still do my key fob maybe just in the bottom and I wouldn't have it hanging on the Chanel case but there's the phone and there's the little pouch and I can still fit my lipstick or lip gloss in there at the bottom hopefully you're getting this light and then my sunglasses and that makes it even a lot more comfortable for it to sit in there so the wallet even though this is a very compact small wallet and I will show you just to compare they're about the same length a little bit higher here but definitely uh, the width and then just depending on what you have in your wallet you know that's gonna make it expand or smaller but this is the size um, case that I would highly recommend or suggest and I never carry cash so I never have to worry about cash being a big deal. Um, if I do have cash, it's on a very rare occasion and it's um, maybe just some small bills or maybe a few bills, period. I don't really have many bills that I'll ever carry. Um, so if that's the case, then you know if you need to have cash, you can probably stick it back here in the zipper pouch and kind of even use that as your extra storage space for cash. Um, so that gives you an idea of what really works well in this little mini bag but it does hold you know the essentials and it's definitely worked well for me for the past two months I did not want to put it down and it was nice to not have a big bulky bag 
So let's say you, um, you know, you don't necessarily keep your phone inside your purse. Let's say you decide instead you're just going to have it sitting back here. Now you may or may not have a big case like that, and not that this is a super bulky case, but you know it's definitely got some width to it, some thickness to it. So let's say you put your phone back there and instead you can use your Victorine wallet. Or in my case, I'm hoping to use this new Gucci Blooms wallet that I purchased. And that fits in there just nicely. And again, I do have the lipstick and sucker at the bottom. And then also, um, let's just use this again for keys and we can see that they both fit in there nicely. And then I would have my sunglasses. <clears throat> and again, you do have to kind of gauge it by the size of your sunglasses, but that's still gonna be a bit snug. So if I can get them to lay flat, that's usually the best scenario. So I've got them in there flat on top, and then I do have to kind of fold in the bottom, but I can get it closed. So it's got the essentials. It's got my wallet, my keys, and my sunglasses. And then, oh, and then we will put the phone here in the back. So that's how that looks. And it does bulk it out a little bit and you can kind of see what that looks like. The front looks very flat and fits fine. So those are a couple of options for you. Um, so I think that will work well for me and I have no problem stretching the bag a little bit. You know, I know it will kind of stretch and shrink and stretch and shrink with the leather um, so I expect it you know to do that but if you're very finicky and you don't want any stretching then you're gonna be pretty limited to probably just using a card holder and something for your keys and then your phone and then you may or may not get your sunglasses in there maybe you prefer to just wear them on your head um, another option is to just hang them off the side which I did do and I still do this a lot with my sunglasses. Sometimes I just have them hanging off the side of my purse like this instead of putting them inside my purse. It just depends. Like I have a pair of Tom's Ford sunglasses that will absolutely not fit in here unless it's the only thing that's in here. <laughs> They're just too wide. So it just depends on the sunglasses and then of course, um, you know, what you're comfortable with as far as stretching out the leather and I do intend to have this for many years and I know that it can take the wear and tear that I'm going to put on it because it's quality and um, I'm not going to be careless with it but I'm certainly not going to baby it so that hopefully helps you Christy I know you had some interest in that and um, there were some other people who had mentioned also that they would like to see what fits in here so Hopefully that helped you. And just to give you an idea of size comparison to the Disco, um, so this is obviously a good couple of inches, maybe an inch and a half. Maybe that's even too much. Maybe an inch smaller. I'm not very good with measurements. <laughs> so that just shows you the difference. And then in width, Obviously, the Gucci is going to hold quite a bit more. So that just gives you some idea as to what I'm switching into. So we will officially retire this for just a little while. I'm sure it's going to make its way back out um, very soon. And we're going to move into the Gucci. So super excited to have this beautiful bag in my possession. And it's just humongous in there, right? Like, there's a ton of room. So, I haven't switched out my cards yet, but I will be switching out all of my cards, which I have nicely put in here. 
into this new little Gucci wallet. And in case you missed the unboxing, it's got this gorgeous, gorgeous red interior. And it does have space for cards here and here, a couple card slots, another slot here, as well as cash can go in here, which will more than likely be a receipt holder for me. So inside we have the wallet, so that's got tons of room. And I will keep using the card case. This does store my health insurance, driver's license, and all that good stuff. So I will keep that handy. And that should just fit nicely down here at the bottom, which will complement the red in that card case. And then of course I'll have this for my keys because it is a perfect match. So that's what that looks like so far. And then of course my cell phone, and I will probably keep it if I can. Oh, that fits nicely. I can have it propped up inside this pocket and I can still close it because there's clearance up here. So that will be very nice. And Jennifer, my girlfriend, just Jennifer, hey girl, if you're watching, I know that um, she recently did a review on this bag and she realized she's going to be able to keep her phone in there as well. And I think keeping the bag open is going to be super easy for access. So I may be doing exactly what you do and keeping it open as long as this flap doesn't drive me nuts. <laughs> so there you go. And then I do think I have room in here now for my agenda. I don't typically carry this in a small bag, but this is plenty of room inside of here. And what I might do is just sit the um, card holder inside of this pocket here. And then that gives me a little more room. So the card holder is now inside the pocket opposite the cell phone. I have my PM agenda. I have my Gucci wallet, and then I have my key holder here. And there is still room to spare here on the side. And you know what's going in there is the sunglasses. And those drop in there just nicely. So this is all the essentials, guys. This is perfect. This is everything I need. Um, the only thing I will say is sometimes I like to carry my little Wapiti case and I got this several months ago, even probably a year ago. And this holds my spare, well, I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, but I have this fantastic little gadget and I'm gonna have to show it to you really quick. And what it does is it hooks onto your phone and it's a fan. <laughs> it is a little cooling off fan and it's fantastic. Fantastic, that was actually not planned. Um, but it's got the little um, the little connection for the iPhone 6, and it just works off your phone battery, and it's great, and I used it quite a bit this summer. And in case you're wondering, Bed Bath & Beyond had these for $12.99, and it's worth every penny. And I um, also carry my little backup mini charging cord and my little backup charger, which will allow me to have two extra full charges in it. And so it's nice to have that, and I keep it inside my little Wapiti case. It's got the like red interior here, the suede material. Now this might be a little too bulky, but I'm gonna see if I can make this work, because if I take this handbag with me when I'm out for the day, I do like to have that extra battery. So I think I'll have to kind of adjust it a little bit. I think it may work yes okay so let me just show you what I did so I sat up the um, Wapiti case my key holder and the wallet so they're now vertically sitting in here and then what I'm gonna do is just put the sunglasses right on top and voila tons of space in this bag this is a great size bag it's deceiving look at that and it doesn't distort the bag shape. Not at all, really. A little bulky here. Really excellent. So I am super excited to be using this for the month of 
well I guess the rest of October and the full month of November I will be carrying this bag so I'm very excited to have this in my collection and um, I love to carry my bags as a crossbody so I'm just gonna stand up and show you how this looks on me so you can get an idea that is how it will look when I am wearing this beauty out and I'm about five foot um, three or so I'm a shorty <laughs> and I have this on the I haven't adjusted it actually since I got it so this is on the last loop and I kind of like that it hits me right there so I think that's gonna be good it's right on the hip as you can see so I think that's gonna work great so there you go guys that is my bag of the month and I want to just do a quick thank you to all of you youtubers all of you ladies who have kept up with this tag that we started I can't even remember I don't think we started in January but I know that it's been several of you who have consistently done this video every single month and I just want to thank you so much for continuing this tag and uh, and having it go throughout YouTube and spreading it and it went like kind of crazy for a while and a lot of people joined in on it um, but the ones who stayed true to doing it every month like Thelma Thrift and Turnica Davis and um, Lady B and Christy J all of you thank you so much for doing that and um, helping me with that tag and I hope we can continue to, to do it because it's been very uh, beneficial to me to rotating out my bags and then of course new bags come in and sometimes my old bags get neglected because I have to use the new ones first um, but it has been very beneficial I think and hopefully I think you agree that it's been beneficial to you all of you who've done it and helping you also to rotate out your bags so I appreciate you watching my video. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up here if you liked it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at PurseDiva38 as well. And I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.